So hello you guys and welcome back YouTube, everyone that's there watching this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am of course Blizzard Raptor and this is Assassin's Creed Revelations. We're back, Constantinople in 1511. Beautiful moonlight on the Bosphorus question mark. I'm still not 100% sure. The lovely countryside. If you've enjoyed this so far and you're happy for me to keep playing these games for you guys, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and a comment because I'll play through the whole Assassin's Creed series quite happily. And let us rock and roll. So this will be the key. Is it true? I'm just thinking about what that apprentice said to him in the last episode. Is it true you still have the, the strength and speed of a 20 year old? No, no it's not. <laughs> it's really not. Complete the level within six minutes. I hate the timed ones. Right, so Galata Tower. I can go down. Get used to this because this happens quite a lot in three and also unity. Okay. So where do we go from here, Etsy? Are we going up? Round up some more. Oh, back a jet onto here. I mean, the scope of these caverns, I love the way the camera pulled out there and showed you the sheer size. Oh no, that's my fault. That's my fault. I, I didn't know what he was doing. I didn't know what he was doing and I... <laughs> I hit circle and dropped off the... Uh, right, okay. Yeah, um, I love the scale. See when the camera pulls out... When I do the back eject from here, right? See that? pull out to give you the idea that everything around Ezio is massive, that the scale of these caverns is huge and then it zooms in again. That is spectacular to me. Quite convenient that the um, the assassin's hook blade that Ezio had no idea existed is the way... Sorry guys, I'm going to have to turn the brightness up. Uh, hopefully it won't be too bad for your monitors, but... I'm going to put it all the way up for this segment, because I can't see Jack. 
Ah, uh, maybe ten's a bit too bright. <laughs> Eight should be enough for me to see what's going on. Yes. Right, so I need to go this way. I had no idea that was there, so that's why I had to turn the brightness up. So we're going up here. And then here. Around here, and then it'll be a back eject, I think, again. Yep. Down here, along here, and round this wheel. So this should be turning, not for obvious reasons, it's not because it's old. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. It's my fault for being too impatient. Round we go again. Every mistake we make gets us closer to that six minute mark. Which is kind of irritating. There we go, and over here. Up. A long, I don't think it's a back eject onto that rope. No, it's not, because rope climbing is not a thing. Run along here. Going through the waterfall on this one. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. here we go. There's no danger I'm completing this in six minutes, by the way. Oh, my heart's in my mouth. Oh. I have a very mild form of vertigo. It's not terrible, but if I'm high up and I'm close to the edge of something, I feel that sense of dizzying, like I'm being pulled into the drop. And watching him do that, I felt my heart in my mouth, I felt that kind of yawning sense of being pulled towards the... Here we go. This is that ruined bridge that we saw in the distance and all the other shots of the, the chasm. Oh no, it's this way, right. Now we've got a four, this way. You know a game's doing its job right when you get the sense of dislocation, that feeling that you're, you're high and this is going to hurt or whatever when it's you're not the one that's playing it I'm not the one that's doing this climbing but I don't want to fall game is really doing its job well in terms of making me feel the, the sort of peril the stress, the danger At 50 years old, this would be a bit much for me. Oh, you know that's coming, Lucy. Probably when I'm across here. Yeah.
put these boxes here. That's the countdown. Yeah. So disappointed. Ah, it's all right. Yeah, so we'd have done it as well, just within the six minutes. take me out myself there we go so disappointed I could have done that in the six minutes in the end it was my greed that done me although if I hadn't cocked up a couple of the bits I would have been fine oh well doesn't matter My own assassins knocked me over. Wow. So let's head for whatever this latest Sophia memory is. I don't think it's that far away either. No, it's not. I'm still in Galetta, so this is probably going to be at the assassin headquarters. Oh, get out my face. See, I can do it when I want to. Or rather, I can do it when Ezio wants to. <laughs> I don't need my assassins for the guys on the rooftops anymore. Actually, there's a bank here I want to visit. Because I've got money in my... vault. that I need to get out, I think. I'm now carrying around a small fortune. <laughs> Friend, why not shop with me? Get my armor repaired as well. Let's go, let's go. Repair all. I think there's new armor. There is! I've got the chest guard now. Yes. 
Every bit of armor adds health, that's why I get excited. Nothing's really... out-damaging what I've got at the minute. So there we go, we've got the full Azap leather gear. It's giving me a bit of extra health there. Into the Assassin headquarters. We'll probably get a wee cutscene here. But just before we do, I want to check on my guys. So I don't have anyone who can be... Oh no, he can be. Just don't want to them though. And Mediterranean Defense. So we control Alexandria. And I'm gonna send my new guy Yeah, I'm going to send my new guy to take care of that one. Send him to do that. All of this gives me... And all geos is the next one. That's cool. Good to see you, mentor. I'm just doing it because I'm here. I have to go into here to do the Sophia memory anyway, so I might as well. And 17 minutes into this episode, so cool. We're going to see a new Altair memory here. Fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer, just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. Are you fit to travel? Well enough, yes. I asked Malik to ride to Jerusalem with news of Al-Mulim's death. Would you ride to Acre and do the same? Of course. Get Altair's health, because this is, this is like right at the end of Assassin's Creed 1. Well, we're past the end of Assassin's Creed 1. At the end of Assassin's Creed 1, you kill Al-Mulim. It's no spoiler, the game's been out for the best part of 15 years or something. So, Al-Mulim... It would not move. Wanted the apple of Eden. And... Nobody knew why. What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. 
And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Saab in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve, but others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe al Mualim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The apple is safe in al Mualim's study. When I'm finished here, I will show you all I know. must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of al Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al Mualim is bewitched. Ah! Ooh. So is a boss. got to time these perfect. That's how I'll lose health segments if I don't. This wasn't part of the original game's mechanics either. The fist fighting was very poor. So they've used the Assassin's Creed 2 engines. What did I tell you, Altair? Abbas, stop! What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved al Mulim less than anyone! You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero! This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it! No man is. It is beautiful, is it not? That's another one gone, and another one gone. Give you a quick look. Born in the Holy Lands in 1165, so he was born 300 years before... Ezio, here we go. I'll, let, I'll go through this slowly, you can pause it to see. There isn't a way to avoid that, I think. No, there really isn't a way to avoid that. How do I get up here? Ah, I see. Ah! Oh. Ooh. I need to be on solid ground when ah! that hits because it's going to hurt and flatten me. No!
what a pain in the arse these parkour mechanics were in these games. The peak of the parkour mechanics abilities came during Assassin's Creed uh, Unity. They're the best. Every time that happens... Uh. Abbas loses health. You know what I'm gonna do, don't you? I'm just gonna go wee! Uh. And then we again. Uh. Just let me suicide! I'm gonna end up having to just let a bass die to get this to reset. Because I'm not losing ah! full synchronization just because yeah. I fell off that platform. And I'm not restarting the memory to play through that whole bit again. There we go. I'll do. Right. So the actual blasts don't hurt Altair. If what's going to hurt me is if I'm up high. When the blasts hit. Yeah, I'm going to fall. So I need to be careful. Just stand here just now. Let that hit. Ah! Ah! Like knock me off the edge. Ah! There we go. Again, here we go. What was that? Are they dead? Forgive me. I did not know. Have you anything to teach us? Or would you lead us all to ruin? That didn't count as a re... I'd, I'd have had to have restarted the whole memory. Ah, no, it's all right. Bugger it then, it's not worth it. So that was pretty good. You see there how Altair came to wield Altair. the apple. Barely 26 and already a Grandmaster in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility and unlimited power? So this is the first book that we picked up. Well, no, it's not. We've got Aesop's Fables. Ah, uh, we've completed sequence four, so we're gonna get a... a memory restart. I made prince. the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He's a clever young man, with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziav keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here. 
nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it. Interesting perspective there. Here to the Empire. And here we are at the start of a new memory and there's more new items unlocked at blacksmiths and tailors so let's see let's fill up some stuff let's do a quick apothecary supplies medicine fill yep fast acting poison upgrades I will get that Alright, uh, uh, I'm not looking for the bookstore, I'm looking for a blacksmith. Where is the nearest one that is working? Probably that one there. Eh? Let's go see what new gear there is. Probably get jumped in here again. Eh? That's a bookstore. Oh, did me? What an accident someone's had. I hear the clink clink of the hammer. Oh, he's round here. There he is. Repair. Don't need repairs. Armor. Mameluk metal bracers. Or Mamluk. Mamluk. Metal Greaves. So we'll get them. Weapons. Assyrian Saber. I think that is the only new weapon and I like the look of that. I actually like these kind of weapons. So I'm gonna get that. Small weapons. We've got a butcher's knife has been added. Still the crossbow, but I don't have enough money. So that's increased my health a bit further as well, which is good, that's what I want. And is there more of those guys? Yeah, there is. Yes, that's that set finished. So what that does is, the assassins are now more effective when I send them on missions and I've completed the first set. So I'm getting closer to that master assassin. Um, set that master assassin challenge. The next one will be to do the call them in on story missions. So I need to make sure I do that during, in fact, no, I've done it because it came up saying I had done that one. What I need to do is I need to do the arrow storm. Is this a bank that I haven't renovated yet? Yes. Yeah, like it will renovate it. Because I want to lift the money from here as well. Halfway through the banks.
Don't have anything in the bank. Okay, doke. <laughs> I'm poor. Uh, so we need to go left here and talk to. You see this rack? Incredible quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. I'm not married. Ah, oh, you're better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold the things. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rugs just because they were imported. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere, an arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir. I cannot take less than 200 action for this. My final offer. When I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise at 180? 180 Akche. And we part as friends. <laughs> Distract two guards with bombs. I can manage that. We'll make sure we have the... Do, 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 do. So he's here somewhere. You'll obviously need to do the old, uh, I didn't realize that they would. Did you ever find out what happened to the old Byzantine sword commander? Of all Mehmet's accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. If you have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way! Move with the crowd. That's proper blending, that is. This is an important meeting. Make sure I am not being followed.
Whoops. Wow. I had that done well and truly. I think I threw the bomb too close. I think those bombs need to be further away. It's a very cautious man. Almost got spotted there. All hail the victors of a thousand battles. <laughs> he almost had me there. I feel like this is spy stuff. You there. I will be back tomorrow. And if you have not disposed of all this foreign made garbage, I will confiscate it myself and throw it into the bosses. Lead the way! Oh no! They have time for this. Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the Arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come. Oh, 
Yes. I got the full sink. It didn't go as smoothly as I wanted it to. But it was okay. So... Hmm. I wonder how far away the Arsenal gate is, it's not that far. We're at 46 minutes now, so I'm going to give it a stop here because I don't want what happened the last time to happen again. I don't want to go over by mistake. So, <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm enjoying making this series. I'm enjoying playing Assassin's Creed. I will always enjoy playing Assassin's Creed. Revelations. I've got Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood on the channel so far. We've got Revelations going up, and the roadmap is to get 3, 4, Unity, Syndicate, Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla, Mirage, which is the new one that's coming out this year, and Associated DLCs, to get some of my favourite games up on the channel. So, if you guys are enjoying it so far, if you're liking the the assassin's creed content subscribe like comment and i will see you for another episode take care of yourselves guys and bye for now